Good day, everyone. Today is another beautiful day, and I want to use this opportunity to welcome you to Mathematics Solutions Center. Today, we are going to be looking at a question that says, in a class of 40 students, 32 offer mathematics, 24 offer physics, and 4 offer neither mathematics nor physics. How many offer both mathematics and physics? Solution. The first thing we are going to do, we will say, let x represent the number of students that offer both subjects. This rectangle represents our universal set. And the question says that what? In a class of 40 students. Therefore, the universal set is 40. We have mathematics and physics. Let this be mathematics and let this be physics. The number of students that offer both subjects is x. The question says 32 offer mathematics. So inside mathematics alone is going to be 32 minus x. Why 24 offer physics? Then I will write 24 minus x here. Why is it 32 minus x? Because the number of the total number of students that offer mathematics is actually 32. And among these 32, the number of students that offer both mathematics and physics, they are already there. That is why we have to what? Subtract x from 32 for us to get the number of students that offer mathematics only. The number of students that offer mathematics only is going to be 32 minus x. The same thing for physics. The number of students that offer physics only is going to be 24 minus s. But don't forget, the question says that what? 4 offer neither mathematics nor physics. So the 4 is outside mathematics and physics set, but it is still inside the what? The universal set. So summation of everything inside the universal set must be equal to the universal set, which is 40. Therefore, I have a 32 minus x plus s plus 24 minus x plus 4 is equal to what? 40. Minus x plus x we cancel. So I'm left with what? 32 plus 24 plus 4 minus x is equal to 40. 32 plus 24 is going to be what? 56 plus 4 minus x is equal to 40. 56 plus 4, that is going to be 60 minus x is equal to 40. Then I'm going to have x is equal to 60 minus 40. Therefore, my x is equal to 20 students. We have 20 students who offer both mathematics and physics. Let's check the options and see which of the options is correct. Option D is actually the correct answer. Thank you for watching. We have come to the ending of this tutorial today. But if you have not subscribed, please kindly click the subscription button, like the video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you will be notified anytime a new video like this comes up from me.